guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're an OD, welcome back, guys. So today we are trying out the Bold Hold Liquid Gold and the Bold Hold, um, I almost forgot the name, y'all. The Boho Lace Jelly. I've seen this go around. I know I'm a little late to it, but I've been had it for a while, but then I had braids, so I had to wait. I really wasn't in a rush to use this product, so that's kind of like why I'm just now doing the video. But what I'm gonna be doing here is showing you guys how this works on my head and giving you guys a little review. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, sorry about the light, my ring light just blew, but I think it just got overheated, so I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. So the first half of this video may be without the ring light, but I'm just giving y'all a natural beat too, okay? Get into it. Like I said, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. So what I'm gonna do here is gonna put the Boho Lace Jelly on. I'm gonna use it to just lay my hair frizzes down. This is a closure unit I'm gonna be putting on, so I'm not gonna lay all my hair down. So you'll just see me focus on like this four by four perimeter area. So let's go ahead and lay it down. Okay, that is laid down slick to the best. So I'm gonna put in my, put my unit on. Um, this is my 24 inch unit. We're gonna do a little bit of styling with this. So let's go ahead and put it on. Trying to get my band in really good. had no weave in the minute y'all like regular simple if i look over here y'all y'all know i have my little my little mirror so that's what i'm looking at okay so what i'm going to do next to use I'm gonna go in with the Boho Liquid Go and I'm going to put that around the perimeter. Um, and instruction says apply a small amount to your hairline on the areas of the skin where the lace will be applied. Try to do one subsection at a time. Apply to one inch area to lay your lace on that area then blow dry it with warm air. Okay, so let's take it back. Well, it's actually back good enough. So I think I'm gonna come up to like right up in here. So it's say sections, but this is a closure. It's not really too much. Sorry, I'm not gonna be looking right directly at y'all, but it's say like to the skin. Okay. Okay, skin. I just did like a thin layer because y'all yeah, really gonna take this off after this video. Yeah, I did like a thin layer because I'm gonna like take this off. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not really sure. Let's pull it up. It's a piece of hair that's sticking out right now. Let's put it up. Okay, and then it says blow dry with a on warm. So, on low but warm. So, put mine on warm, and then I'm gonna put it on low. Let's do it. Okay, 
I ain't want a whole bunch of heat on my face like that. Ooh, my forehead is. Hello. <coughs> what is this? Mm. Oh, I caught on to something right there. Y'all already know the deal. If y'all see somebody's little head pop up in the corner, as y'all already know, I got sidekicks. My, now, since I got that laid, I'm about to just put my clips in and get this unit really secure, okay? Because I want to nook if you look. Oh, that one didn't feel like it went in too good. Let me try this one. I ain't say anything. Ooh, nothing. Nothing. What? What? Chicken butt? What? Chicken butt? Nothing. What you say? I ain't say nothing. But peace. What I don't know. Jackson, what you say? What you say? Not to me. She ain't no diva. What's that in my hair? I probably should lay my hair down, but I don't want to lay it down with a wrap since I have makeup on. And I'm going to be styling my hair. And I'm also going to be cutting some layers in this a little bit more. So I don't want to lay it down like this because I don't want to have that line on my forehead. Although I can touch it up, that's not the need right now. So let me get my scissors and we're going to do some layers. Um, so let's get into it. These are the scissors I'll be using. They're not shears. Um, I have a pair of shears, but they're not really the best. And I think it, I think that's just on me being cheap. So yeah. So when I curl my hair, I always curl back um, cause it helps where the curls will fall. So I'm using my one inch barrel. Um, this is uh, Remington Carl and I, you can get at your local Walmart. Um, nothing too fancy. Don't sleep on Walmart. When I curl hair, I usually just, if I'm doing something else, I will wrap it. But when I do my own, sometimes it's harder if I have it like actually on my head. But, um, let it come out the curl um and i usually like just let it sit in my hand let it cool off it's harder to do when you're doing it on your own head um yeah so what i'm gonna do is like curl my hair to the front and when i get to the front i'm gonna come back and so we can try to cut some layers okay normally when i cut i cut away from the face so normally if i'm doing like this i do if I'm doing someone else's, it'll be out. But because I'm doing my own, I need to be able to see how I want it on my face. So I'm normally going to be like right where the mouth. You see that? It's going to be like a little. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. It's giving you like. um. I don't know how to explain it, y'all. So now, curl the hair this back, and I'm going to come a, start from the top a little bit higher because this is the part that's going to fall on my face, so I want to start curling a little bit higher up than I would at the bottom where it would be like my longer pieces, but because it's a little bit short and I want it to fall more on my face, I'm going to start curling higher up on the hair, so yeah. <laughs> So, it's a little different here. Okay, so I pin curled it here. And I'm gonna do that the same right here. I actually seen something where somebody curled the front piece and they did like, I wanna say they curled it up. We're gonna see how this fall and if depending on how it look, we may try up just to see. It may be giving something that I ain't know. We're gonna hold it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin this little piece. Oh, Lord. Well I wanted to pin it. And what I'm gonna do just because it's a lot of flyaways and I really don't like flyaways. This is Ozzy. I'm gonna spray it on my hand because this is like really good holding spray. If you like, if you're trying to find a good holding spray, um, especially the generic spray is good, but also this Ozzy is good too. So I, but it's very, it's, 
it does what it's supposed to do basically so i'm going to spray a little bit on my hand yeah it was like a perfect thing okay then i'm gonna pull it back i'm just trying to get the flyaways out the way but i don't want to like spray down my hair now i'm going to do a mist over my head just to try to get some hold on the curl but i didn't want to do too much because i don't like it to be stiff so i'm gonna do this over here and i'll be back all right y'all so i went on and took the curls the uh, pink curls off on this side once i finished curling it combed it out a little bit did some hairspray as y'all can see i did the tuck test like everybody be doing and it actually does it's, it's on there so that's pretty good good sign good sign so the layers look good so i'm gonna just take this side out with the pin curls that I did. And they are looking good. So I usually just use my hand to comb it out. I don't really do too much. Hmm. Why that look like that? I don't like the way that one looks. Honestly, don't know why that looks like that, but let's comb it through. Okay, but I really like, I haven't had that hair in a while, so y'all, excuse me while I as well, okay? <laughs> I'm giving you, I should be on TV. So what I will say about the la um, bow hold lace jelly is that it does um, slick your hair down. Um, I would just say like for this product, if you were like about to put a wig on and you're sticking it down, just do it like you would do any other product when you're, um, putting it into your hair, brushing it back. Make sure you're holding your hair back and using your blow dryer when you're applying this to your edges. So for the Boho Liquid Go, I would say it works very well if you follow the directions. I haven't tried to wing it before, so I really don't know if you do something different, how it's going to work or if you use it with another product. But as far as using liquid go and following directions, guys, it does work. Look how it is holding to my hair. Y'all, I'm pulling and it's on there. And I like it because, and this is good. I'm excited because it's glueless and it's holding like that. It's a good thing. So I'm very excited to see how this works. I may just do it overnight just to see, but I'm really excited to see that this product really works and it's um, living up to the hype. I'm definitely excited about that, and I would definitely recommend this to anyone to use. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. It looks like Bold Hold does hold, and I would definitely recommend. So if you are looking for a new product to add to your collection, Bold Hold Lace Jelly and Bold Hold um, Liquid Go are definitely a must-have to add to your collection. If you enjoyed this quick video, please don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload, guys. And as always, stay true and stay you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.